What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda out here in the wilderness and uh, doing a little overnighter out in this beautiful country. But I'm losing light and the rain came down and I need some fire. Now, I probably didn't plan this really well and uh, set up uh, in a perfect spot. And everything that I found here, you know, I've been picking up some wood to light my fire because I want to get a fire going before I lose all the light as well as heat up some food and boil some water. But I did bring along this and it is pyro putty and it is basically a fire starter that uh, hopefully I can kind of mold with my fingers and then light with uh, my pack of waterproof matches here and get a fire going with some pretty heavy sticks because I haven't found a lot of the small stuff and so I'm hoping it burns long enough to get some of this going because this is about all I have and it's all a little bit damp so let's give it a try. All right guys where I'm at right now things are pretty wet. Uh, they're, I'm actually a little worried about anything starting uh, on fire to begin with but um, like I said, I did find some sticks here and just kind of break them up a little bit and see if we can use some of this putty to get some stuff going. Now, the first thing I'm going to note here is not only did I bring the putty, but I left it in its paper. So I'm going to actually use that as a little kindling too. So we'll be burning that thing. But here is the pyro putty. It comes in this little tin. Looks like it's a screw down. I'm not sure. Yeah, looks like it's screw down top here. And here is the putty itself. And... I've never checked this stuff out or used it before. It does have a little bit of the consistency of Play-Doh. I'm not sure exactly how flammable. Um, I'm definitely getting a little bit. It's a little waxy is what it kind of feels like on my fingers. So I'm hoping that when I light it, uh, I don't set myself on fire. And I'm going to use a pretty generous amount of this because, like I said, uh, I'm going to have one shot really to bring this thing to a flame. So I'm going to actually take about, oh, I'll take about half of it. Why not? just get the fire going now i don't know it's it's kind of like flammable gel and it feels like it is like cotton balls soaked in it it's kind of what it, the look it's got now if you want it i'm assuming maybe you could kind of open it up a little bit and set this whole little tin on fire but i'm gonna save a little bit of it hopefully this is enough so i've got this and i'm not sure if you're supposed to kind of turn it into a wick or anything i'm gonna kind of spread it out a little bit here and Make sure that it's got enough surface area to catch on fire and man the bugs are starting to annoy me out here but i'm just gonna go ahead and put it down here on some pine cones and some loose wood just like that and i'm gonna put some of this wood i've been picking up along the way just kind of over it and see what it does some smaller branches here too that hopefully take a flame so there it is now I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my matches here nothing fancy kind of wish i had a lighter just because it's a little breezy out here sometimes i have problems with these waterproof matches oh, that one didn't go a little well there we go see how quickly it lights up So that other match there caught fire too. And it seems to, it doesn't seem to like instantaneously take the flame, but kind of like a candle wick, just takes a minute to catch. And I still have the paper here, so I haven't even thrown that in there, the box to light it up, but man, that looks pretty good. And obviously it didn't erupt in fire so much that my fingers caught on fire because I still have a little bit of that waxiness on the ends of my finger. So kind of be careful, I'll be careful with that, but there it goes, man. All right. And I can hear the wood crackling um, as it's kind of drying out this wood. So hopefully that'll burn a little while. I'll kind of let it run here and see what it does. But like I said, everything out here is a little bit wet and uh, this is going to make a huge difference as opposed to trying to find a lot of dry, small stuff to light up. So I could probably optimize this a little bit and get this stuff over the fire a little more directly here. So cool. Looks like I will be eating tonight. Staying warm. And uh, maybe not coyote food. Of course, I didn't come out here without force protection either, but this is going to make it a much more comfortable and a much drier night. Mmm, the smell of burning wood is awesome. All right, check it out, pyro putty. So far, I'm pretty impressed with this. It didn't let me down here while I'm out in the wilderness. I'll put a link to it in the description. Peter Von Panda, out.